is Scam Lego Creations, and today I will be doing City Update number 2 for July 2015. So right now, my sig fig is by my car. It looks like a police officer is leaving. I was speeding to get to something. So let's first off take a look at the layout for sig fig heights. So we have a bunch of open lots over here. We have one, two, three, four, five with those two, six with those two, and seven with those two. I'm giving you guys numbers because if I do have your sick fake in the comments down below, you guys can tell me which lot you would like your house on. I'm still trying to find floor plans for small houses that I can do. That would be easy. So, yeah. I will do a video update on that when I do find floor plans for that. But just for now, you guys can reserve your plot down below. Whoever gets it first, they get it. Like, let's say if... Let's just do, if Bricksmith wanted these two, but let's say that Brickstyle got it first, it'd be hers. So then he'd have to choose a different one, so yeah. And you guys can choose one of the houses that is up here, except for this one. It looks like Faith's Bricks already bought that one from the landlord, so she's moving in there. And I have this one right here. It's one of the bigger ones. There are, I think, three this size. Yeah. One, two, three three with the 32 by 32 base plates then just some other ones so yeah like I said down below you guys can tell me which lot you would like and when I do figure out floor plans I will tell you so let's start off over here we're going into the rural Lego city area sorry right here we have the newsstand that's right there yep I thought that would be cool next to the forests so yeah I like that right there you need to cut a base plate in half for right there, because you can tell there's an open space, so yeah. Coming right here, we have a church that's not finished. We have some more houses, and I forgot to tell you guys, you can choose one of these two houses, but they aren't really in the Sig Fig Heights area. They're kind of just out here, along with some of the other houses. So, I'd recommend if I do have your Sig Fig, choose a lot over there. But if you want, you guys can choose one over here too, so yeah. And let's get into the fair. So I have done a lot of work to the fairground. Mainly over here. There's another little stage. So right here it looks like we have a jester with flowers. And they have some cards in their hands. It looks like this one's blowing a horn and it scared that one. And the Yeti's trying to get them. It's really crazy but it looks like they have a bunch of kids there. Looks like these kids are sitting on their laps. So yeah, that's really fun. And it was another really fun build to make. And there's Larry in the background. It looks like he has his little bag and a cup of coffee. And he's going to go look for a house or a place to live. Then we have the Disco Diva. She is climbing up the ladder because she's going to try out the dunk tank. So that'll be fun to watch. We have the news people from last update. They are at the concession stand now, which is new. And it looks like they're speaking to a pretzel lady. So yeah. And out back, we have a guy dumping some trash away. And the fairground mixer is totally fixed now. Like, all fixed. They all have the bars now. They both have these. So, yeah. Looks like we have a scared doctor there. He was watching last time. And it looks like we have some other people over here. So, yeah. It's cool. And then over here, I did find the ride operator. So, yeah. That's good, too. <laughs> And we just have some flowers and everything that's waiting to get placed. So yeah. Right here we have the hot dog cart. Let's see who's running it. It's the hot dog girl. She's new to my city, so I welcome her. So she's going to be working there for now on because I can't find the actual hot dog guy that goes with that outfit. And it looks like we have a construction guy and just a lady that's waiting to buy hot dogs. So yeah. Ticket booth didn't change at all. Then I did get the billboards up. I got four of them up from Brick Builders Pro. This one is the one car, some variety, one passenger per car, smile and drive safe billboard. And then on the other side, we have the Pixel Cola one, one of the four of them. It looks like it says quench your thirst, Pixel Cola, so that's cool. And then right here, Ferris wheel hasn't changed at all, except that... Dr. Fink is down here. I mean, Professor Fink. Never called him doctor before. Looks like he's giving the grandpa a brew to try or something like that. Then we have the petting zoo, which hasn't changed. And it's just like a little lot where these two ladies are talking to see what they are going to have there. 
So let's take a look at the Heart Lake City So area. here's the area my sister and I call Heart Lake City. We have some shops that aren't built yet, just have a bunch of crap in them. The roads aren't finished because we still need to get some more. I'm going to buy some of my birthday money that I got on Brooklink or eBay. And it looks like we have an ice cream parlor that she started. Police Station 2. And I gave her Bricky Chicky, so it looks like she spiced that place up a bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this area. Just a few more houses over here. I already mentioned those, so yeah, let's go downtown. So coming down the ramp, you can see that I did move the floors up top. Then the train station hasn't changed. We have all of the modulars here now. So sorry for that piece of wood right there. Then going back over here on the Palace Cinema, we have some billboards. This one is another Pixel Cola one, so that's cool. Then we have the Fire Brigade, Parisian Restaurant, Pet Store, and the Detective's Office, which is like 40% done, I would say. And then the Grand Emporium. And then right here, from, I think it was 2013, the winter set, I have some Winter Village market stands right here, but I took all the winter, like, the snow off them, so it can be for all seasons, but it looks like a camper van ran into this one. Looks like Al Brickman is right there investigating what happened with his little, like, magnifying glass. So yeah, so we have some other people looking. And it looks like one little girl was injured, so she is on a stretcher with her mom right there. And she is getting loaded into the ambulance. Kind of like that. It looks like the lights are actually on with the glow, so that's really cool. I just noticed that. Then right here, it looks like the driver of the camper van and the lady who owns the stall are fighting. And it looks like we have some police officers there to break them up. And we also have Joe's plumbing truck right there. So yeah, let's get on to this area over here. We have the Heart Lake City Shopping Mall. Trying to climb out from my knees. There we go. We have the Heart Lake City Shopping Mall right here. That hasn't changed at all. I did have the police station here, but I took that whole thing apart to make my own custom one. So that'll probably go right here. We have nothing, nothing was done over here this month, except for some things over here. Those are just some shops there, or just base plates, stuff like that. Some more billboards that I need to finish. Just a bunch of mess over here. But let's get into the area that I am really proud of for this month. So here's the beach area. Yes, this is really big, and I love it. It is so cool. And a small beach area right here with three beach base plates. Looks like we have some bystanders watching all the construction that's going on over here. Looks like we have a tiki bar that's in progress of building. We have like a little porta potty. Looks like some people are making a boardwalk right here. And it looks like one of the cargo trucks is delivering some more tiles for the boardwalk because it looks like they're almost out of them. And we have another truck right here. It looks like the foreman is going back in to get his coffee cup. And I've done a little detailing on the beach, like the wet sand and like the waves coming in. Really like that. But that's all I did with this area. I started this probably, I would say, Friday, I think it was. Yeah, because Mini Bricks was doing his stream on his channel. And I started working on this during then. So, yeah. And this is probably it for this video. I've covered, I think, everything. Wait. I still have one more area to cover. It is not a mess anymore, and it is the Arctic area, so let's go look at that. So, right here is the Arctic area, phase one. I'll probably do some more to this, but it looks like we have a little base camp. Not like, really, like, maybe just like a little laboratory with a polar bear trying to get up. Right here we have a big Arctic thing trying to drill into the ice. Arctic base camp, helicopter, some more dog sleds, dog sled. And just some ships that are parked over here. I have not finished the Arctic Icebreaker yet. I got that at Christmas. And I just found out that I haven't finished it like a week ago. I found all of the bags in my room to the Arctic Icebreaker. I've done bags 1 to 6, but I still need to finish the ships. So yeah. And then up here we have another little area. Looks like we have one of the other little laboratories right here. And a scientist or like a researcher is going inside. And right here a guy is trying to hook on an ice like one of the ice boulders onto his truck and we have the broken arctic helicrane right there so yeah now i've covered everything so don't forget if i do have one of your steak bakes please comment down below which lot you would like i numbered them earlier so yeah 
This is Cam's Lego Creations. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Come back next month or in three weeks. Well, two Saturdays if I have an update. So yeah, bye!